The legacy of the 1974 Pittsburgh Steelers is that they were the team that began the greatest concentrated run of success in Super Bowl era history. Four titles in six seasons, which is a remarkable feat for a franchise that had gone almost 40 years before it won its first playoff game. That Steelers team of 1974 was the first team to take the step to win back-to-back -back Super Bowl titles in two different instances, 74, 75, and again in 78 and 79. It was a team with memorable characters, but it was loaded with talent. The 1974 Steelers draft class is considered the greatest draft class in NFL history. Lynn Swan, middle linebacker Jack Lambert, John Stallworth, center Mike Webster all ended up in the Hall of Fame coming out of that single draft class. All told, that Steelers team of 1974 included nine Hall of Fame players as well as head coach, the 10th member to someday go on for enshrinement in Canton, Ohio. It was far from an easy season for the Steelers, but it began a dominating run of success that made them the easy pick for the team of the 70s. The 74 season for the Steelers did not start smoothly. They had a quarterback controversy. There was a player strike in the preseason, but that team overcame all of it and went on to win Super Bowl IX against the Minnesota Vikings in New Orleans. Looking back at that Steelers team now in the span of 40 years, you realize that they really had it all. They had the quarterback in Terry Bradshaw. They had running backs like Franco Harris, Rocky Blyer, Frenchie Fuqua. They had two Hall of Fame receivers in Lynn Swan and John Stallworth. And then there was that steel curtain defense led by Mean Joe Green, but also with other talents like Jack Lambert, Mel Blunt at cornerback, Mike Wagner at safety. It was a completely dominant defense and in an era when you could certainly play great defense and get just a little bit of offense and win Super Bowl championships.